if that intro right there doesn't get you excited, I don't know what will. Because that was one of my favorites. And also one of my favorites is this video right here that I edit once a year. For you longtime viewers, you know how much excitement and joy that this video brings to me. It is a look back at 2021. And 2021 was honestly a, as far as hunting goes, and all the hunters that we had at the ranch and all the hunting that I got to do, it was absolutely incredible. Before we go too much further in today's video, the verse of the day comes from Matthew chapter 16, verse one. Oh wait, no, that's where I'm reading, actually. Today's verse of the day is actually 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 13. It says, now, who will want to harm you if you are eager to do good? Go back and read this full, uh, full chapter, the verses around it. I don't like plucking things from context, but um, apply that to your life. Look at, uh, take that verse and point it back at you and say, what kind of person was I today? And what kind of person do I want to be tomorrow? Strive to be the person that looks more and more like Christ every single day. Pray for that. Spend time in the Word to become that. And believe that uh, you can become more and more like Christ every single day. But it's huge to pray on it. Huge to be in the Word of God to make that happen. I have to say a huge thank you to a lot of people out there because I couldn't have done it without each and every one of you. Now, a lot of you guys sent me a lot of fan mail and broadheads and different things and I so appreciate that more than you know more than words can describe I appreciate that and it was really really neat taking the broadheads that you guys send me and then testing them on hogs or whitetail or whatever uh, it's super cool for me to go out and do that and um, all the the Walmart challenges that I did last year and uh, man, it, it was it was just a really cool year overall. Now, for those of you that sent me things uh, as far as fan mail goes, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Um, one of the one of the groups of people that or guys that keep popping up in my mind is Marley and Joey from Laredo and Beto Galvan. Those guys, we got to do uh, some hunting together this year more than once, <laughs> which over the last couple years we've only gotten to hunt. Um, usually about once uh, or one time together um, but we were fortunate enough to get together on multiple occasions this year or this past year and it was awesome so uh, they invited me down to go do a hunt in Laredo which you guys will see some of that footage coming up and so I'm really appreciative of those three guys for allowing me to come down and be a part of their campfire for the weekend and then those guys came and hunted with me out at the Rimacoy Ranch and so that was super cool and I was really, really thankful that we got to have that experience and, and share that time together as well. Several other names that I'd like to mention are the West Texas hunting guys. I got to make a trip out to Lubbock, not to hunt, but I just so happened to be out in the area and I got a chance to meet both of those guys and I wasn't a part of a video. They weren't a part of my video and we were, we were just meeting up and it was something that we had been longing and trying to do for quite some time and so I was really uh, grateful to get uh, to meet those guys and if you guys haven't done so already and um, all of you as viewers and subscribers um, if do me a favor and go check out the West Texas hunting guys I really would appreciate that that's a great great bunch over there and they're always doing something funny and always doing something hilarious and they're always producing and posting quality content hunting and and follow them on Instagram too you guys will love them <laughs> but uh moving forward um, one of the very, very memorable trips for me was meeting Ethan Walls from New Divide Outdoors. And um, all these channels that I'm talking about and people that I'm talking about will link, be, be linked down in the description below. But uh, I got to meet Ethan Walls, who's become quickly a very good friend of mine. We got to do some hunting together. Um, as, we, as a matter of fact, we got to do some hunting with Joey and Marley and Beto, me and Ethan did, down in Laredo. And that was an absolute blast. It was so much fun. Uh, and now, uh, well, let me back up. So the trip that I'm speaking of whenever I got to meet Ethan was doing some trout fishing, of all things, trout fishing in the state of Texas. And it was my first rainbow trout, my first, I think, brown trout? I could be wrong. But I'm pretty sure that's the two that we were catching. <laughs> anyway, I'm not a, 
That was my first time trout fishing. It's my first time catching trout, and it was awesome. We were doing that, if I remember right, on the Guadalupe River, down around the New Braunfels area. Super fun, and hopefully him and I will get to link up and do that again before the weather gets too much warmer, but you guys will be getting to see some um, upcoming footage from myself and Ethan come this August. We were going to go together on a mule deer trip, a mule deer hunting trip in Arizona and this month or next month, but um, because of some unforeseen circumstances, we actually just decided to step it up a little bit and do some caribou hunting in Alaska in August. So that is going to be completely epic that you guys, uh, we'll have to keep it a lookout for that coming up. It's going to be one of those trips for me that is like a hunt of a lifetime because everybody like a lot of people have a lot of animals on their list and some of mine are some north north american game uh, i've been blessed and fortunate enough to go to africa to, sh to kind of knock off a bunch of species on that list which i'm going back next year but as far as north american game caribou is up on the very very top of that list and then there's probably going to be some other um, backcountry like surprising hunts come up throughout this year in 2022 but we'll see um, playing it by ear right now so far all I've got going is just doing some caribou hunting and I can't wait for that trip me and Ethan are gonna have it a blast so you're gonna make sure you guys need to make sure that you're subscribed that way that you can see that whole video series and how everything plays out I think we're gonna have some great success one last group and if I'm forgetting somebody I sincerely apologize I'm not doing it on purpose I just have so happen to have a pretty bad memory but um, a lot of the guys that are a part of our group which I say a lot there's one two three four five of us I know that pretty much all of you guys you four guys other guys are watching so Mondo and Dylan and Brennan and Jerry and everybody that's been involved behind the scenes not just behind the scenes but um, as far as everything that we've done at the real McCoy ranch this year and not I say I keep saying this year like we're in 2021 I mean, last year, um, everything that we did, we had our busiest season yet. It was pretty incredible. Everybody fills a role and has a position to play, and everybody does a pretty stand-up job, does a fantastic job. And so I want to go ahead, and they know how much I appreciate them, even though we all talk a lot of smack to each other. Um, I wanted to go ahead and just put it in a video how much I appreciate each and every one of you guys for all that you guys do, not only for me, but for the channel. And how much fun that we're able to have and also for all of you that have come and hunted at the Real McCoy Ranch thank you to each and every one of you and I hope that we get to have all of y'all back anybody that has ever come and hunted with us I hope that we can uh, have the opportunity to hunt with you again hope that I get the opportunity to guide you again and do some more filming and just all around have a uh, blast and have a good time more big things coming to the ranch this year and I can't wait to show those to you, those things to you guys. But I, um, other than that, I'm just kind of at a loss for words as to how thankful I am for um, every single one of you. Because I couldn't be where I'm at and doing what I'm doing if it wasn't for every single one of you. And I know that this is getting kind of long-winded, but rightfully so. This is a take. Uh, this is taking a look back at the year 2021 and everything that went on. And these are just bow hunts. Like this is excluding the rifle hunts. I decided to just put the bow hunts in here because I know that that's what you guys like watching the most as it is. So that is what made the cut. There's 30 plus bow kills coming up for you right now and I hope that you guys will enjoy it.
perfect. Got him, man. I have to give her up. You smoked him. Okay, he's gonna fall. I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, that's so much fun.
Betty don't go much further than that. Stone. Nope. Right there. nope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I So as you probably have heard me mention in the previous video, one of my goals for the 2022 year and my seventh year as a YouTuber is I would like to hit 100,000 subscribers. And whenever we hit 50,000, I'm gonna give away a, an all-inclusive hog hunt at the Real McCoy Ranch. So if you wanna be a part of that, you have to go back and you have to look down in the description of this video and look for the video that I have posted there. It's a link, click on it, watch it, com comment on it, and make sure that you're subscribed. You got two things to do. That's it, it's super easy. That gets you entered in to win, uh, or yeah, entered in to win for this hog hunt. After we do that, at 100,000 subscribers, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do an all expenses paid, all inclusive, exotic hunt. Fallow, all dead, Axis, Black Buck, you name it. I'm going to give that away to one of you at a 100,000 followers. We gotta get there though, and we gotta do it before 2022 is up. I know that we can do it. This year, there's gonna be more videos posted than ever before, and I'm gonna be doing more hunting, I'm gonna be doing more fishing, I'm gonna be spending more time outdoors and filming videos that you guys love to watch, and I can't wait to do that. One last thing before I close this video out is that if you guys would, Drop some comments down below of the types of videos that you would like to see this year. I love y'all's input. I love knowing what you guys want to watch. And so I want to be able to read your comments and then produce videos based on what you guys want to watch. So if, if you're scrolling through the comments and you see a comment that is something that you would like to see, just give that comment a thumbs up. And so what I'll start doing is I'll just go through, choose the comment that has the most likes and that's where i'll start <laughs> i'll pick that video if i can make it happen and i will go out and do it film it for you guys and post it i know y'all love watching the hog hunting but i would really like to kind of expand and broaden my horizons this year as a youtuber and i'm not getting away from the bow hunting by any means but i want to be able to do more fishing and ha hope that you guys will watch some of that fishing and it will be higher quality stuff that is more enjoyable to watch but furthermore i want to do more of like the behind the scenes vlog style videos that I do and I just really hope that you guys will watch them. For those of you that do, I'm very thankful and grateful for y'all. But let's keep this ball rolling in 2022. Let's get to 100,000 subscribers or more. Hey, I'm okay with more than 100,000, but my goal for this year is to get to 100,000. It's been a long time coming and we're almost at 50,000. So very soon, you have to get entered very soon. Otherwise, you're going to miss out on that hog hunt giveaway and i don't want that to happen and one other thing and then we'll continue on but uh, i know a lot of you were curious as to who the giveaway winner was from a video about when was that that was about a month ago 
yeah, about a month ago. I had like a three week break there, but that's not going to happen anymore. I'm going to announce a winner right now, and if whenever I announce your name, my email and my social media and everything is in the description down below. So you can shoot me an email, you can shoot me a message on Instagram, you can do whatever you need to do to get in touch with me, and I'm going to send you a package of broadheads and uh, some merchandise too. I'll throw in a t-shirt, a decal, some different stuff. But I, uh, going through right now, and it, this was whoever picked the closest weight. And the winner that I have for this video is Harper Santos. That hog that I shot in that video about a month ago, that hog came to an even across the board 143 pounds. And he said, you're awesome, dude. I say 143 even. So Harper Santos, send me a, an email, send me a message on social media, something, and I will get you your prize sent your way. Moving forward, this is about one of the only videos that I won't apologize for getting long-winded on because I have a lot of things to say and a lot of things to talk about in this upcoming year and all the exciting things that are going to happen. And I am very thankful once again and very grateful and appreciative for each and every one of you, all the support and everything that you do for me in this channel. I pray and hope that you will continue to do the same as we move into this new year and really get the ball rolling. Spring and summertime hog hunts are fixing to be, well, and even now, I say spring. I'm I'm putting timelines on when I'm doing a hog hunts and I do it year round. It's always coming, guys. You know it's always coming. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna keep them rolling to you as much as I possibly can. And as well as many other videos, like I said, I'm gonna try to broaden some horizons this year and include more things and some vlog styles type stuff, behind the scenes videos. And I hope that y'all will enjoy that. But with all that being said, I don't have to say that I hope that y'all enjoyed this one because I know that you probably all enjoyed this one. This one was really great. And I have to also throw in this disclaimer before I shut this video out is that every single one of these animals that were harvested in this video were found and located. So we're not just a bunch of slumps. All the meat was used in every single one of these animals and it was a, just a phenomenal year and I had a blast and I can't wait to do a repeat but even better this year. So be sure that you're subscribed, leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, drop comments down below for some new video ideas. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for watching. Here's 2022 and I'll see you in just a few days.